I'm Tina McDonald, artist in residence for Imagine Craft Sukuneko. I'm going to be focusing on the new Radiant Neon products and creating this simple, adorable card. To begin, I embossed a piece of white cardstock using Spelled Up Binders Embossabilities folder. Now I'm going to die cut it using the Curved Matting Basics. This gives a pretty shape to it. Now I'm not going to emboss this after I cut it. Uh, we're just going to use it as it is. We're using the electric orange and the electric pink in the radiant neon colors. I'm going to start on the bottom corner and this is where we're going to add the most color. We're using the sponge daubers. Begin adding color in a circular motion at the beginning and then we're going to bring the color out. We're going to stretch it out to the edges of our card base because we want more color in that one area and less on the outside. I'm rotating colors. I'm using both the electric orange and the electric pink. And I'm blending these colors together as I go. So there's more color in the one area and then it gets lighter as we go out towards the edges. I've also cut a card base from white cardstock, just slightly larger than that. Ink your stamp with the radiant neon electric pink on the top and the electric orange on the bottom portion. Then you can go ahead and stamp this onto the white cardstock. Then we're going to die cut it with a circle die along with the flower dies that you see here and the medallion. So we're going to cut and emboss those in Spellbinder's Grand Caliber machine. This beautiful medallion we're going to set aside as well as our sentiment circle because those are completed at this time. We're going to be using some embossing powder now with our Radiant Neon inks. Begin with the center part of this floral piece and we're going to ink it up in the electric yellow. Give it a nice thick coat of color, then quickly set it on a piece of scrap paper and sprinkle generously with the embossing powder. Next, take the larger portion of the flower and ink it with the electric pink through the entire area and then in the center portion we're going to put the radiant neon electric orange and once again while those inks are wet we're going to sprinkle with embossing powder and now we're going to shake off the excess and go ahead and heat emboss these so you give them a beautiful shiny finish. Isn't that fun? Alright let's assemble our card now that we have our pieces ready. We're going to stick a little bling flower center into the top of the top portion, sorry. Then we're going to add a foam square underneath and we're going to adhere that to the top of the flower base. I'm also going to add some foam squares to the bottom of this so it's ready to go onto our card. I'm going to adhere the embossed piece to our panel using some foam squares to give a little bit of depth and definition to our card. I've rounded the corners of our card base and it has a top fold. This kind of rounds out the feel of our card. I'm using a little bit of liquid adhesive in the center of our medallion. That's going to be hidden by our sentiment, which is die cut into a circle. So once we get this on, I've also added a piece of um, foam tape to the back of our sentiment. And now we'll add our flower and this card is complete. So simple, but so beautiful using those beautiful inks. Radiant Neon from Imagine Crafts. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you've been inspired. For more project ideas using the beautiful Radiant Neon inks from Imagine Crafts, please visit imaginecrafts.com or find us on Facebook and Pinterest. Thanks again for watching and have a great day.